Hi everybody, it's Marcy and Gwen. Here are my, our machines. We've been sewing together this weekend. We listen to books on tape and we've been listening to Tim Gunn. Here's a sweep of the studio. And what's happening now is Catherine just came up for a design consult. We do this a lot. So I'm here for a button consult on this jacket made from Butterick 6106. I found this great holy fabric as a remnant in Paris and was so excited. And then we were just at a fabric show and we found this fabric with the large holes and the small holes just in a little bit lighter colored denim. So I made this jacket. Hold, kind of hold it up, Kath, so that we could get a 3D... Great. So, I had a little bit, a little scrap, like three quarters of a yard of this denim, this printed denim. And I decided to combine them because I thought it was pretty fun. So I ended up doing the front facings with the denim. We'll pull that back again so we can see. Great. And just one little bit on this side and on the back and then on the left side here and a cuff. I decided to add a, a roll back cuff. Just one cuff, not two. Well, I have two cuffs, but only one is in the contrast. Right, fabric. that's what yeah. I meant. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then what, let's take a look at the pattern itself. So this is Catherine's, maybe hold it. Okay, it's 6106 and the thing, see this version here Okay, I'm going to zoom in so you can this see. This version uses two different, two contrasting but related denim-like fabrics. These are jacarded denims, so they have a pattern, uh, wo either woven in or printed on. And I just changed, you know, some of where I put the contrast on this. Okay, well, let's look at can't wait to see the buttons that you've picked. Okay, so then I went through my buttons and I picked all the blue buttons. So what I did was I sat down. I don't have like the whole set of buttons. I just have some options. So I had these large, small textured mm -hmm. buttons. And, you know, I kind of get a yes or a no I like when I these. put them on. But I wanted somebody else's opinion. So here I have a flat kind of a flat, it's actually a pearl button that has a paint put on it. These are all vintage or contemporary buttons from Paris. Let me put this one in here, let's look. Okay, okay. like that. So, and it's, so, it, it, it's interesting because on the camera it looks pretty red, but in the natural light there's a bit of a contrast, but not quite as much. So as I look at it here now, laying them out and talking to you, I think I can eliminate those. Mm -hmm. They feel too small, mm -hmm. kind of dark. They just don't do it. I'm liking both of these for different reasons. The ones I loved were these. Oh, let's put those down. Because the there's, they're, they relate in size to the holes, and they relate in color. But I, I put them down? on here. Maybe. And they disappear. Yeah, they do. And yeah. they're a very cool button that we found on one of her pair strips, so I don't want to, like, waste them on this jacket. Wait, wait, wait. Don't take it away yet, because okay. it takes a minute for the camera to, to adjust to the focus. Okay. Yeah. Those, those two. I agree. So you've just got a little pile so over here. So then I decided to try to mix up some buttons, yeah, you know, to do, and these are all vintage buttons from Paris, so what would it look one. like if I did something like that? that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's what I like because it's sort of the different textures, the okay. different uh, shapes and sizes, the change in them, the variety, kind of relates to the texture in the jacket. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. the, you know, what you're going to have to do, the, the challenging part for sewing people here is each one of these buttons 
is a different size. So each buttonhole is going to need to be custom designed. But well, you know, you can do I, that. I have to disagree with you here okay. because as I look at these, these two are certainly the same size. This one is flat and bigger, but this needs a bigger buttonhole. The mm -hmm. fat ones need a bigger buttonhole right. anyway to get over the top. So these three are actually related enough. And then this one, you know, this one will just seek its own level. It's kind of fat, but I don't think it's going to pop out of the buttonhole. Okay. And you'll, anyway. will you make, you'll make a test buttonhole just oh, yeah. to check? I always okay. make a test buttonhole. And then what I love about my new Bernina machine is that it's really easy to size the buttonhole and test it. And then if I like it, I... Uh, then if I like it, I know that it will work for all the other ones and I don't have to make any adjustments. I just make one after the other. Okay. Catherine is really good at simplifying things. So this is Butterick number... 6106. 6106. And the size you made it in is... Well, I call this an extra large. It's my size, and I'm about a 16 to an 18. Okay. And I love this pattern because this can serve as a jacket or a shirt, depending yeah. on the fabric that you make it in. And a lot of times I'll make these and just wear them over a camisole or a tank top like a shirt. But if it's colder out, I put a T-shirt on underneath, and then it's more like a jacket. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're done, we'll take a photo and we'll post it on your website, katherinetilton.com, on my website or my blog, one or the other, or Facebook or all of the above. So stay tuned. This is a really fun fabric and uh, good buttonhole choosing. Happy sewing! Happy sewing! Happy sewing! <laughs>